Uh, you know, listen, Wisconsin, they're, they're one of the best teams in, in, in the league right now. They're, they're playing incredibly good basketball. The thing with Wisconsin, they don't beat themselves. They're, they're so physical and disciplined. And you got to be prepared for a battle, and not just defensively. What, what they do to you uh, to make you uncomfortable on the offensive end, we have to be ready from that from uh, the second the ball goes up in the air. This can't be a game where you know we take the temperatures, see what they're going to come out and do, and go from there. We've dealt ourselves um, or put ourselves in a bad position the last couple times we played. Now, we had a great comeback a year ago after being down double digits. But we can't expect that to happen, especially on the road. So you know, it's, it's a very—it's a game where you have to be as mentally tough uh, of any game you play all year, just because of what they do to you with their physicality. Um, you know, early games it's important to get off to a good start. And uh, again, we got to be ready from from the jump. If we're not, you know, they have a, they have a way of uh, punking you and, and making you look uh, making you look bad. Wednesday night was obviously a good night, but do you like how this team just bounced back the next morning, just get back on it? Yeah, it's it's tough. Anytime you play that eight o'clock game and then have to bounce back with an early one on a short turnaround, um, you know, it's it's tough. So we had a mental day um, the morning after the Indiana game and went out and put in the game plan. And had a good, uh, you know, had to get up and down, get a physical practice today. Anytime we have a mental day, I always like to get them up and down uh, that next uh, that next practice. We're going to go shoot at the arena tonight because we won't have an opportunity to do that in the morning. Uh, but again, this is a, a game, you know, it's a hard hat, lunch pail type game. You just it's blue collar. You got to go in there and match physicality. And if we do that, we'll give ourselves a chance. How is CJ? Uh, CJ's doing good. He didn't do anything yesterday, uh, but he was back on the practice floor today. How did how did Rink uh, how was Rink feeling the next day after? Yeah, Rink, Rink felt good. Um, he didn't do anything yesterday as well, really as precaution. And then today we had him go through about half the practice, and then we pulled him out. Um, you know, we expect him to be on the floor again tomorrow. He, he responded well after it. He had a little bit of soreness today, but you know, nothing I don't think unexpected. And you know, again, we'll we'll see how he's doing in the morning. But you know, we we expect him to be um, you know available to go tomorrow afternoon. When you watch the film from the Indiana. I thought we had great movement. That, that was the thing that really stood out. We're going to have to have that uh, tomorrow against Wisconsin. You can't come out and expect to score in your first option against them. They're too good. They're too sound. Um, you know, they're too disciplined defensively. So we have to have that same type of movement that we had against Indiana defensively. Uh, just have to have the same type of effort with, with activity. Our hand pressure was as good as it's been all year. I think we had 27 deflections against Indiana. And with the Wisconsin, the way they move, and you know, you, you can't ever lose focus. They're going to make you guard, and you know, you get to defend 20 to 25 seconds, and finish it with a rebound. If they rebound it, you're going to have to defend for another 15 seconds. But you know, it's a team that, again, they don't beat themselves. You know what they're going to do. It's like the old Nebraska teams. We're going to run 50 times. Here's what we're doing. You know, try and stop us. That's that's who they are, and they're really good at it. When when Casey gets hot like he did the other night, just what does that do for the other four guys in the court? How does that help everyone? Well, it, it, it helps everybody when Casey gets it going like he did. And, uh, you know, he just demands so much attention out there. And then that's what's going to open up the pocket pass. It's what's going to open up the, the extra. Um, you know, he hit a couple, obviously, bombs. One was a little bit lucky, threw it off, you know, Renau's hands and, and uh, caught it at about 35 feet and just decided to shoot it and he made it. But, you know, when he gets in that type of rhythm, um, you know, he's a hard guy to shut off. So, you know, that was last year. They did a great job on him in the first half and then he found a way to get loose a little bit in the second. But, you know, they're going to they're gonna make it difficult on him. I know that. And uh, we, we have to be uh, do a good job of, of trying to get him open and, and then making sure we find him when he gets hot. And I thought we did a really good job of that the other night. Feel like an old Big Eight game for you, a 115 start. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I like the early better than the late. You know, it's it's a weird stretch. You go eight o'clock, 115, eight o'clock, 8:30, 115. It's just a really weird uh, stretch right now. But you know, you play the schedule that's given to you, and you know, you played the number one team in the league on uh, whatever day we played against Indiana. They were two and zero. Now we get to go to an undefeated team on the road and then you get to follow that up with the number one team in the country. So we got a heck of a stretch going right now and then you follow that up with two more road games. So you just got to be diligent and you know the old cliche take it one at a time and, and hopefully give yourself a chance to win and, and execute well uh, when it matters most. Has AJ Storr kind of given Wisconsin a different look than in years past? AJ Storr is playing as well as anybody right now in our in our conference. He just he's so dynamic, he's athletic. Uh, he's really driving the ball well right now, and you know he can go get his own shot, his own basket. So I've been really impressed 
with his overall play. And, uh, you know, he just gives them a level of athleticism uh, that's hard to stop and hard to shut off when he gets it going. When he gets on a roll, he is really hard to turn off. So we're going to have to do a good job on him early. Their arena will probably be rocking tomorrow. How important will be communication on both ends? Yeah, communication, you, you, you have to have it. You know, we talked about uh, anytime you go on the road, we're all we got. And, you know, we did a good job of that against Kansas State. We did not do a good job at Minnesota. And it's something, especially early, they're going to be uh, amped up. And we got to go out there and handle the crowd and the atmosphere well. And, like I said, hopefully give ourselves a chance. Yeah, right, thank you, guys. Thank, thank you.